So this is my quarry. You can see it's a very simple setup. It's just powered by this redstone energy cell. And I'm just I just set it to output 10 MJ per tick. It runs pretty fast and it'll last a good amount of time. But what happens when it actually runs out of power? Well, I came up with this system that automatically will switch this with another filled redstone energy cell. So this this thing right here is a turtle teleporter. Now back on my base I have a second redstone energy cell being charged by electric engines. When the time is right this this turtle, it's an engineering turtle, it has a crescent hammer, um, it will pick up this redstone energy cell, teleport to the quarry, and just replace this, replace the other one with this one, bring the used one back, and place it into the charging dock. And any second now, it'll be doing that. See, this one has 289, about. And any second, because I just programmed to do it every one minute, there it goes. Brought back this one with 160,000. So you can see it switched them out. So now the one that was just here is back at the quarry. Way over there. Really far away. Um, let me terminate this. You can see it does cost fuel to teleport. Terminate. Um, so a couple things to mention. Um, you do need to give it a lot of fuel. Um, it, I think it's about two times the distance it travels. Is it, so uh, you, normally you need one fuel for every block you travel. For this you need double for teleporting. So um, also another thing, I'm giving away this code, of course, because I always give away these programs. And this variable is what you're going to want to mess with to edit how long the turtle waits before switching each time. And that depends on how fast you want your redstone energy cell to be outputting power and how fast you think it's gonna run out. Um, I still don't even know exactly what I want, ex what number I want exactly, but just mess with this. I think about actually an hour would be good for me. If you're doing like five MJ per tick output or 10 MJ per tick, something like that, it would be, I did the math, I don't remember which one I did though, but about an hour seems about right and I'll just come back and edit that later. So. Um, this is the, yeah, so you need two redstone energy cells, one, one here and one at the quarry. This turtle just switches them every time it loops. Um, see, it, there it goes and brought it back. And you can see now that I changed the time to one hour, it says minutes since last swap zero because I just did it. It only updates once every minute and minutes until next swap 60 minutes and every one minute it'll update that it's gonna probably exit the user interface when it dis when it teleports away but I'll just right oh no it never mind because it's not gonna be teleporting away it's just gonna be updating the the minutes there it goes that's it so like I said just edit the minute value depending on how fast you're charging it and how fast uh, the energy is used. Now I have a question for you guys because I'm kind of confused about this. If any, if, any, if any of you know about electrical engines overheating, look this one just overheated right now. Now I thought they weren't supposed to be able to overheat electrical engines unless, like I thought the only reason they would overheat is if um, the machine that they're powering can't receive the power as fast as they're producing it. But this thing is supposed to be allowing 100 MJ per tick, and these things produce 8 at max. Uh, well, they produce 8 when they're running. So I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's not a big deal because they just reset themselves. But I, I really would prefer them to be running constantly. So if anyone knows what's going on with that, I don't know why these are overheating because this thing should be able to take the power that they produce. So if anyone knows what's going on with that, if you could let me know, I would appreciate it. Thanks. So now let me uh, go into more depth about how to set these up. I'm going to go into, my, into a creative world. Alright, so here's what you need. You need two redstone energy cells. 
Uh, I just have one of them charged, one of them empty. You're going to need redstone repeaters to actually link up the teleporters, which is odd, but that's how it works. And you're going to need a mining turtle, well not a mining turtle, just a regular turtle, and you're going to be combining it with a crested hammer. So, actually, my inventory is really messy. Let me get a crafting table out. You're just going to need to do this, place the turtle down, put the crescent hammer to the side. It might be shapeless. No, it just has to be a, has to be on one of the sides. And you get an engineering turtle. Now, in order to do that, you need to have the mis miscellaneous peripherals mod. And I know several of the mo Feed the Beast mod packs have it. So just check in a launcher. It Make sure that you have that. You're, you're using a mod pack that has miscellaneous peripherals. So now that you got your engineering turtle, let me show you how to set up the turtle teleporters. Tele turtle teleporters. I'm using advanced turtle teleporters because, well, you could use normal teleporters, but let me show you. Whoa. See, these are the basic teleporters. The recipe, it's not too expensive, it's just ender pearls, and these are actually eyes of ender on the top and bottom, and obsidian. And that gives you a basic uh, turtle teleporter. The thing about those is that you can't have them teleport two-way so you can only have one teleport to the other one but you can't have it teleport back so one workaround for that is to have like three of these and then have like a sort of triangular loop but instead of doing that I I had the resources to just uh, make advanced teleporters which can handle uh, two-way travel and it's not that expensive it just you need more eyes of ender redstone and emeralds which I had a lot of and I don't know of any really good uses for so I didn't I wasn't worried about making two advanced teleporters so now in order to link these together you just right click with the repeater link started link completed and now I you actually have to do it both ways and notice in the chat it says linked if you've already done it once and you do it again it'll say unlinked so make sure that you're not unlinking them make sure it says link linked and now you got it linked to both ways I think that actually matters you need to link it both ways now the way this program is written the turtle program I have it set up so it, you face it away from a teleporter and it will detect the teleporter on the back of it and it doesn't actually move at all like it doesn't have it doesn't move forward to the side or up or down it just teleports and that'll place it right in front of the other teleporter right there whoops um, yeah so what you want to do is basically you have a quarry running on the other side or whatever you want to use this filled redstone energy cell for then you have the empty one basically this is the setup and these could be wherever you want powered by whatever you want powering whatever you want just on, on one side you need to, where you're giving it power, you, you want to set up some engines, whatever engines you'd like, anything that can produce some MJ, and, you know, fuel them, and I guess that's pretty much it, so, it's not that complicated, and you just, the command is swap, REC stands for Redstone Energy Cell, and the reason is, it's not going to work in this one, because that was in a different world and that's really all all there is to it one side I mean these setups are you, you set them up the same on both sides except one of them is uh, gonna have a redstone energy cell being charged and one of them is gonna be using power so for like a quarry or something so I hope you found that useful have fun and remember to edit the minutes variable in the program to your own preference as well as the output speeds of the of these things. I'm using like seven on my quarry. So it's all, it's all up to you though, depending on what, what you're powering and stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope that's useful to you guys. I'll see you guys next time.